And there's so much trauma that's happening in the war in Ukraine right now, whether it's uh, aerial bombardment, missiles, street fighting, uh, shrapnel injuries, and so many civilians are affected by this trauma. There's so many injuries. So what we've decided to do is assist beyond the first responders, beyond the existing paramedics and firefighters that are there, is we've packed 5,000 uh, trauma first aid kits that are designed for civilians. And we're putting them into different conflict zones inside Ukraine to get them in the hands of, of civilians that are affected. And the idea is so that if a civilian witnesses an injury and can come stop the bleeding and help a patient, then that's a good thing, they'll help save a life. So it's one thing to provide someone a tool, it's very important to teach them how to use that tool. So today we're very fortunate, we're lucky that Humber College is giving us all of its expertise and its access to its technology and its equipment. So it's paramedic students who many of are gonna be Toronto paramedics next month and you know treating patients on 911 calls here in our city. They're out volunteering and they're teaching people that they'll never meet how to apply dressings, how to apply bandages, how to deal with head injuries, how to deal with extremity traumas, whether it's upper extremity or lower extremity. Yeah, we're all pretty excited to be part of it. Uh, it's nice to know that we can do our part in helping out over there. Um, so providing some of the info that we've learned over the past two years, it's a pretty good feeling to know that we're able to kind of help in our own way. And then the film students behind the scenes or also go to school here, they're capturing and then editing that to make it into videos. Then those videos will be widely circulated across social media streams, flown and shown in that war zone so that the very people that get these kits and are in a position to save a life because they have a tool, now have a training to use that tool. And then the communities come in and uh, are translating simultaneously while this is being done into the Russian language and into the Ukrainian language so the native speakers inside Ukraine understand what they're seeing and then can use those tools to save a life. It's ways that people right here in the city are able to support people that are affected by that war. I have a lot of friends in Ukraine, specifically in Kharkiv, mm. and uh, almost all of them had to run away from the city. Many of them have small children, uh, they had to basically collect their basic belongings and just run away. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, their homes, some of, some of their homes are destroyed. Mm -hmm. Many of them are already in Poland, in Germany, they had to leave the country. Um, it means that I'm helping and um, I try to do anything I can, like we send money, we call our friends and people to be with them, we uh, help uh, buy products and ship them, we do anything we can and it means uh, a lot, it means that I am being involved and I'm helping as much as I can.